Yo, what is going on, guys? Will Moore is here bringing us a brand new Bush Gardens video. Yes, we are here just in the studio chilling for this video. You know, flip flop between videos at the park and videos here in the studio. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about summer of wonder the new summer event at bush gardens this year just a quick little recap of the last couple weeks let's just do a little recap before we jump into summer of wonder number one squire squirrel reopened and it was quite fantastic i enjoyed my grilled chicken sandwich and i enjoyed the funnel cake from squire sweets so that was fantastic also, they just launched Passport to Summer in correlation with Summer of Wonder, and I am visiting the park. I have made it a goal to make it to 20 because you guys think I'm very close to the park. I'm not far away. I'm not super close. I had the paper that they gave me, you know, and I literally sat down with all my calendars, Bush Gardens calendar, my calendar, and, you know, working here in the studio because this has, like, number one priority. And I made this list that you guys saw, like, in a more professional version in the short that I'll post here as well. Of all the dates I'll be going, hopefully see you guys stay on some of these dates. If you are going to be there some of these dates, let me know. So I know to stick around because some of these dates I might just be kind of in and out. So just let me know so I know to stick around. And let me know if there's any videos you guys like to see me film at the park because I am there. I am filming TikToks, Reels, Shorts, YouTube videos. I'm filming a bunch of different stuff, getting B-roll for these types of videos. So I'm doing a bunch of stuff at the park. So if you have any ideas of stuff you would like to see, let me know. And if you guys see me at the park, don't hesitate to come up and say hello. I'd love to get to know you guys and thank you guys for supporting the videos. Although if you see me, I'll probably be sporting a hat and sunglasses or one or the other. But I hope to meet some of you guys there. And also, I had a new song drop, Does She Know? My newest single. I'm super excited about this single. So I hope you guys go check that out. Also, on the Patreon, there's extended vlogs of the Bush Gardens Falls. So go check those out on the Patreon. And also, voting opened two days ago for the America's Next Top Hitmaker competition. And I'm in the competition. So if you click the link in the description down below, you can go vote for me. And there's some really cool opportunities to appear in Rolling Stone magazine, perform at the Future Music Showcase in Austin, Texas, and also win $10,000 that I will put into upgrading the performance gear and recording gear. So I hope you guys will go vote. And let's try to win this thing. You know what? Let's try to win. With all of that recapped, let's talk about Summer of Wonder. You guys know I was a big proponent, especially in the last year since starting to make these videos, about Summer Nights is fun, but it didn't feel like Bush Gardens to me. And I often talked about the old event, Alunda Nights. How that was a really great incorporation of Bush Gardens theming with summer fun and you know having like a party atmosphere the score that they have for Illumina Nights, like I have that album on my computer. I love listening to it. It was just a great event. I never really got to experience it a whole lot because I was very young, but looking back on it, that was just such a nice time. And then when you had summer nights and all the different variations of summer nights, it was it just felt kind of bland. It was like you know at Hallow Scream where like five o'clock, you know, the scares come out. It was like, okay, at five o'clock pop culture comes out. And it's like you guys know I'm a big Jonas Brothers fan, and a correlation I always use is I was walking in Oktoberfest and heard Cake by the Ocean. Cake by the Ocean is one of my favorite songs of all time. I didn't love hearing it at Bush Gardens. Like, it, it just felt weird. It was like two worlds colliding, but kind of in that way that they shouldn't collide. And just hearing a lot of secular pop music, which again, my job, it's what I do. It's what I listen to all the time. You know, Bush Gardens is supposed to be the escape from the real world. It's supposed to, you know, take you to this time of Europe and engulf you into traditions and the art. And I felt like summer nights would take away from that. And because summer is, you know, the prime season of Bush Gardens, I just felt like it was a big detriment to the park. Now, I do get people that really did love that because it is fun. The music is fun. It changes the atmosphere of the park. It makes it more of a party atmosphere. It brings the energy up. And I'm not I'm not denying that at all. I love that music. Like that I still like listening to Cake by the Ocean. Yeah. Are the parties fun? We had like the DJ at the table and the lights going around. It's all fun. I'm not taking it away from that. I'm just saying Bush Gardens proper, it just felt weird. It felt bland. When I mentioned at the uh, member exclusive town hall last year that there was going to be a new summer event, I thought that was awesome. I'm like, okay, maybe they're listening to us. They did listen to us. So I have been several times with Summer of Wonder, obviously, because we know we are chasing Passport to Summer. I haven't been there at night yet. That's going to be later this month. I've been there a lot, and I've taken in the sights, the sounds, the food, the drinks. And, you know, I was really bummed after food and wine in it because I loved all the samples you got. And because I was going so much, I was getting so many, like, really cool samples and trying so many things. I was kind of bummed after food and wine that all that cool uh, cocktails and mixes were gone. But actually, now we don't get the free samples. 
as members, which sucks. The new offerings they have is amazing. Like I catch myself seeing all these new offerings at these different locations of all these special cocktails and mixes. And it's just like, oh my goodness. And like the food, like I'm not a sweets person, so I'm not really like diving into the sweets, you know? But like these new sweets that they're offering at like the new funnel cake locations and ice cream stuff, it's really cool. Like they went out to, you know, make some new stuff and make stuff that is special to this event. And when it comes to blending a summer event with Bush Gardens, I think it is beautiful. And the music doesn't change. The music stays the same throughout the day. I understand that there's some people that, that don't like that. And I honestly, I don't have a big problem if they did change the music. If you go into Italy or like when you're walking into England, before you go into England proper, but kind of the entrance and they're playing like, you know, Beatles music. And you know, in Italy, they're playing more like like secular pop music, but you know, saying in like Italian. I think if they did something like that, I would actually love that. I just don't want, you know, like hearing BTS or Jonas Brothers or Ariana Grande, artists like that, or Taylor Swift, like stuff like that. Like, like that's not Bush Gardens. But if you bring artists from these different countries and bring their hits, then I think you got something. I think that should be the next level that Bush Gardens takes with this event is bring that secular music back, but make it specific to each country. I think that'd be so cool. I think it would open people's ears to a bunch of amazing artists that no one else is hearing about. Because I love, I can't tell you the amount of times I pull up Shazam on my phone when walking through Italy because the songs that they're playing in there are so good. And to have that opportunity in every country, I think is a great thing for Bush Gardens to look at going forward. But that is how I'm also going to flow into this next topic, which is the integration with local artists. So if you guys saw it in the last vlog, and I'll put some clips here, they have some amazing artists coming and doing these amazing, and I mean spectacular paintings around the park. And when I tell you guys that I have been blown away by some of these paintings, I mean, they are just phenomenal. Like just a turtle one in like the wildlife reserve part of Ireland. Like it looks beautiful. I love turtles. And then you have the I am a Virginian right by Pompeii, which, oh, I love it. And then you got the better together sign when you're leaving Ireland, going into Scotland, painted by someone from Lynchburg, shout out Lynchburg. It also had a big thing in Germany. Like I don't necessarily like get it, but it's beautiful. The black and white painting, I think is humongous. When I first saw that, I remembered I went, holy cow, that's massive. But oh my goodness, we must talk about the wall mural that is being painted on the side of Castle O'Sullivan as you're leaving Ireland proper going into the Wild Reserve part. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I got some vlog footage of it like very early on and, and the time's gone. I haven't filmed any more of it, but it is coming along very nicely. It's blown me away. Like at first I thought maybe they were just painting like Castle O'Sullivan in a different color, which I was like, okay, you did that with Germany. So maybe you're doing this with Ireland too. But then no, it's like all these beautiful designs. I don't even want to say like, exactly what it is yet because I don't want to get something wrong, but you got the Clyde sale and then it's like, I think it's like an eagle or something. And then you got the Bush Gardens logo and then you got like the painting of the woman and it's, oh, it is breathtaking to look at in person. Like it looks great in photos. You can see it behind me in my short about meeting my biggest fan. Oh my goodness. Her art is phenomenal. And then the love sign over by Verbolton is also great. And apparently there might be some more art pieces coming as we go. And you see other summer wonder pieces. There's one in the aviary a little bit. And then there's the whole section at the pros patio where Mock Tower used to be. I just love this. And I mentioned this when it came back to like Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day, how Bush Gardens was integrating local bands, local communities, local dance schools into the event. And now bringing in local painters from all over Virginia. Absolutely love that. And that's what I love about Bush Gardens is that they're integrating the community around it. It's something that you don't get everywhere and it's bringing artists to the forefront. As a small music artist, seeing other small artists in different avenues of creating, seeing them get the spotlight, it absolutely warms my heart to see it. And I just am so happy for them to get that opportunity to have their art shown in front of absolutely thousands and thousands of people. And you know, I'm sorry for this big tangent, but as another small artist that, you know, is just grinding every day to get their work shown to the world. I know how they feel. You know, I'm just so happy for them. But in also in Summer Wonder, you had the Summer Concert Series, but it had some great artists like Switchfoot, Flo Rida. They just had Brett Michaels. And it looks like it's an absolute ball. I haven't made it to any of the concerts. I don't think I'm going to make it to any of the concerts this year. 
But I absolutely love that concert series and bringing artists to the park really livens up the park. And it's really interesting because you got like these super big like artists that are pretty decently sized, and then you got the really small independent artists. So Bush Gardens, you know, when if you're planning for like 2025, you know. Let's talk. You know, I already told you in the last vlog, I'll give you sync rights for Love Shy, Does She Know, in my next single. You know, I'll give you sync rights so you can play that on the Coke Studio stage right beside Griffin. You know you know that stage? Yeah. You know, my offer's still on the table. Like, you don't got to pay nothing. I'll sign the paper right now. But in all seriousness, guys, I mean, I would love to do that. It's one of my bucket list things is to perform a show at the Royal Palace Theater. So hopefully the music's going to keep growing over the next year. So maybe that's a possibility because I don't think it's, like, too crazy of a possibility if the music were to take off to some extent in the next year. But really and honestly, guys, you know, I was very crucial about Summer Nights, and I made a whole video about why I didn't really care for Summer Nights last year. And to see Bush Gardens seem to take a lot of the notes that uh, me and other park goers were talking about, you know, on social media and stuff, it, it's really, it's really cool to see. And, you know, I've mentioned it before, and I mentioned it, and I'll keep mentioning it, that the park seems to now be taking an approach where they are listening to the fans. Obviously, Loch Ness, that is a result of that. The possibility of making adult night only nights or like 18 and up nights for Hallow Scream. They are listening to the fans. This wasn't always the case. Thank you to the park for listening. This new summer event where there are things about summer nights that work. This summer of wonder feels like a great medium where you're not quite summer nights level. You're kind of reeling it back a little bit, but you're still having to party. You're still having the fireworks. You're still, you know, showing off local artists. And, you know, the decorations around the park are just beautiful. This beautiful things that were hanging from the trees as you're walking past the Clyde Sales, like into England. And then the decorations that are hanging as you walk from the Italy Bridge into Oktoberfest. Those decorations were absolutely beautiful. I do agree where maybe some parts of the park feel a little naked compared to how they felt with summer nights with the decorations. There is opportunity for more decorations. And I think this was kind of a test run of a summer event. Let's call it that. They had so much going on with Loch Ness reopening and Squires Grill reopening. And I'll keep saying it again, we're building to the 50th. They're trying to figure out what is the best 50th anniversary year that they can make. So I feel like this is kind of a test run. It's kind of like, okay, we kind of reeled it back a little bit. Now let's see how the fans react. The people are reacting really well. I see a lot of positive comments about it, you know, on social media, in person. That's the beautiful thing about going as often as I am is that you just kind of listen. Listen to the conversations around you. Listen to the people talking about the art and everything that they're doing and kind of get, you know, opinions. It helps It helps me make these videos to listen to other people's opinions and kind of gather all the different views. And what I'm gathering is people really like it. The art pieces are really cool. They catch your eye. You can't miss them. I love the little excerpts they have about each individual artist instead of just having their name, which they could just have their name and that'd be it. But no, they have social media and like a little mini biography, which is beautiful. The summer concert series sticks around, which was, which is absolutely awesome. Like I said, bring me into the fold. And you know, all these new drink cocktails, mixes, the new sweets. I mean, absolutely phenomenal selection that they are coming up with. I am so hyped about this event. I love this event. I can't wait to keep experiencing this event all the way through August. If there was one critique or a couple critiques that I would say, if anyone from Bush Gardens is watching this video, is, you know, decorate the park a little bit more. You got the beautiful art, but, you know, the, the stuff that I think hangs above you from the trees, I think is a lot of what's missing because you get it in a couple areas, but not everywhere. And I think just a few more areas where you get that kind of overhanging decoration, I think that would benefit a lot. I'll speak for me. I don't necessarily want Jonas Brothers or Ariana Grande or BTS or Justin Bieber playing in the park, but I think bringing in secular pop songs from these different countries... I think that's a great opportunity that you guys should look into. You can, like, think American Jukebox, but that's your playlist, but you're pulling, like, okay, you got the France Jukebox, the Germany Jukebox, the Scotland Jukebox, because there's so many songs out there. I mean, come on now. We we know. It'd be another opportunity for Bush Gardens to shine a light on other small artists. You know, with Loch Ness opening, Squire's Grill, and now this, this year has been absolutely electric at the park. I am loving going to the park as much as I am and getting to experience it every single week and getting all these new experiences at the park, meeting some of you guys and filming so much content has been so much fun. There's so much content that I'm filming that you guys will see over the next couple of months. And I'm super excited to share some more new music with you guys. I hope you guys keep listening to Does She Know? And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below about Summer of Wonder. Do you like it? Do you miss Summer Nights? What do you think they can do to improve Summer of Wonder going forward if this is 
the thing to stick around. I hope it is, and I just hope they keep building on it and adding to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you will notified every single time I upload a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go vote for me as America's next top hit maker. And uh, let's see if we can win. I'm super hyped about this competition. And let's get it. Let's go. Make sure to go check out the Patreon for extended Bush Gardens vlogs. And my name is Will Morse, and I'm out. Peace. Does she know that she's alive?